am not, okay? I give zero about what any of you on this app think about a grown ass 38 year old flatbed truck driver. I give zero about what any of you think that I'm a grown ass man crying my eyes out because I'm mentally, emotionally, and physically exhausted. Let's go, boy. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. And this right here is the epitome of trucking. This right here is what people don't talk about. People don't talk about the severity of what trucking can do to a person physically, mentally, financially. It could be good for some, it could be bad for others. And for others that in situations like this driver right here, he just going through it. And this is the reason, this is the reason why you, you need somebody that you could just reach out and talk to. Now, unfortunately for this driver right here, he didn't have anybody to talk to, somebody to lend an ear, somebody he could just pick up the phone and, and just say, bro, I just need you to listen. I don't need you to talk. I just need you to listen and just just be there just be an ear just be a caring person the reason why this the suicidal rate is so high in trucking is because of depression loneliness and other issues that comes with the job you're in this truck every day with your thoughts and it's just crazy that you don't have an outlet shout out to my man mob ent for bringing this young man to attention we have a story of a literal breakdown this man needs somebody to just reach out to him and say yo driver are you good do you need some help do you just need somebody to talk to that's all this driver needs and i feel for this driver my heart hurts for this driver and for anybody else that's in his position believe me i go through my own demons i get depressed sometimes i just be driving and it just comes over me and i have to pull over and just get out of the truck and just calm down because you don't know what these drivers are going through this driver right here is going through a mental life crisis right now you go over there and you offer a shoulder a handshake a hug something because this man right here is going through it. In today's podcast, we got a story of a young man that's just want to let people know how it is for him in trucking. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I'm not okay. Not okay. I watched my life fall apart in front of me more than once. More than once. I watched a family that I tried to build, that I tried to love and cherish and provide for fall apart in front of me. I am not okay. I give zero fucks about what any of you motherfuckers on this app think about a grown ass 38 year old flatbed truck driver. I give zero fucks about what any of you think that I'm a grown ass man crying my eyes out because I'm mentally, emotionally, and physically fucking exhausted. No one fucking checks on me unless I make contact first. Fucking no one. But y'all expect me to suck it up. This is the fucking reason why the male suicide rate in this country rapidly, grossly exceeds the female suicide rate in this fucking country. I spent all of this fucking time trying to build this fucking business and maintain some sense of my family. For what? For what? Because I have expenses that come along with this, that I have breakdowns that come along with this, that it doesn't necessarily mean that I get a fucking paycheck every damn week, or it's not what you fucking expect it to be because I can't hand you $3,000 a fucking week so that you can maintain your fucking lifestyle. Or how about the fact that you left me, divorced me, and then married somebody else. And then when I started dating somebody else, you told me that you made a mistake and that you wanted me back. And then as soon as I walked away from a fucking relationship, you decided that I didn't make enough fucking money for you. That I'm worthless unless I can provide a certain amount of fucking money for you. I'm fucking over it. I'm sick and tired of every single one of you damn females telling me that my only fucking value to you is how much money I can fucking provide to you. 
get fucked. Every single damn one of you. Every fucking one of you. Everyone. The sad reality of it is, is everybody tells me that I deserve so much better. Well, what is fucking better? And when the fuck does it get better? Who the fuck is better? Who? Tell me who. Tell me where the fuck they are. Because I've looked for 38 damn years. And nothing. Fucking nothing. But because I'm a man. Because I'm the man. I gotta bite my tongue. I gotta suck it up. I can't say shit. Hold it in. Because it's not manly. It's not okay for you to have any fucking feelings. It's not okay for me to be upset. It's not okay for me to reach my damn breaking point. None of that's fucking okay, right? But the moment a man tells whatever woman that he's dating, seeing, married to, whatever, the moment that he says he doesn't have the energy today, he's he's exhausted mentally or physically or emotionally, he just doesn't understand because his body is just fucking shutting down. His brain is fucking shutting down. You look at us as we're the fucking weak. You look at me like I'm the fucking weak. Nobody fucking wants me. Nobody fucking cares. Nobody reaches out to me unless I reach out to them first. Which tells me everything I fucking need to know. Because unless I'm providing you with something that benefits you, none of you fucking talk to me. Nobody. Nobody in my family. Nobody. Fucking nobody. Like nobody asked me if I'm okay. They don't fucking far from me. I can't fucking do it anymore. Fuck every single one of you. Every single fucking one of you. It's funny that a lot of truck drivers in this guy's position that he don't have literally have nobody to call and say, what's up, driver? Are you OK, driver? Are you good? What's going on with you? You need to talk? That's why I, I try to stay close to my family as possible. And that's why I try to be that particular truck driver to come across people that I came across in my sphere. I will reach out to them and be like, hey, driver, you good? What's going on? We haven't talked in a while. What's 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 up with you? How you feel? Trucking still treating you good out there? You you okay? And of course, throughout this sphere, you come across people that comes in your lives. But for those that stay and for those that reach out to me, I want to thank you. I appreciate you for reaching out to me to see how I'm doing. I want to make a special shout out to my man Anonymous because me and him is on the phone every other day. We check on one another. We make sure that we're good. I want to make a special shout out to my man D Nitty. Thank you for very much, brother, for being in the background. I want to shout out my co-host, that young lady that y'all hear in the background that be on the podcast with me. I want to shout out to her. I want to shout out to Kim. She called me this morning to check up on me. So everybody that that checks up on me, I want to say thank you. I want to shout out Shape World. Despite our problems, we still check up on one another. Make sure that we are right. So if you have anybody anybody that you that you're that you're close with or talk to or anything like that and i'm talking about real people not just people that's that's fake not people that just want to be in your circle because you're popular because you're they just want to leech off of you i'm talking about real people real genuine people that comes in and say hey my guy you're good you're good thank you so again, shout out to my man, Mob E-N-T, for bringing this truck driver to light because this is this right here is something that people don't talk about. They don't talk about the mental aspect of trucking, how depressed one person could be and be on the verge of literally driving off of a cliff. Just need somebody to be right there and just pull them back and just say, hey, I don't know what you're going through, brother, but I'm, I'm here tell me get it off your chest let it out driver and if me being here is your solace then i know i did my job i've been there for plenty of people in my past i literally saw a young lady hanging on the side of a bridge back in the day over there on i-480 in cleveland and i was there i was holding on to her i was making sure that she knows that somebody care about her somebody was there to listen to her problems and that was me until the cops came there rescuers came there and she wanted me there while they was pulling her back over the fence that's all that that's all we need we just need somebody to 
just be there. Let me pull over. Let me call somebody so I could let them know I'm going through it right now. And if you're that person for another person, shout out to you, man. Shout out to you for being that person. So again, family, trucking, trucking could be a burden on a family. It could be a huge burden, especially if you're a young family. You see, a lot of people ain't talking about that. We know that trucking is that golden ticket that you guys are trying to get into. But what do you think that's going to do to your young family? Now you're going to be away for months on end because these companies, they don't care about you. They, they don't give a hoot about you. They want you to be out here on the road for 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 five weeks at a time and only give you two or three days off. That's not enough time to spend with your family after you've been away for months on end okay we we want you to be away for the month of january but for the first week of february you could be home for three days and then come back out on the road for the rest of the month of february so the next time your family will see you will be three days in march your family will only see you three days each month because these companies out here don't care they don't give a who about you. They only want somebody in that driver's seat to get to point A and point B every fucking day. And I, I know, I understand, I hear you. You probably might be one of those drivers that don't have a family, that don't have nothing. And that's what these companies are looking for. They're looking for you. Put you in the driver's seat. Do you have a family? Nah. Oh, we like you. Run you until your head chops off. Only give you a 34 to be home. You go out for a whole week. You come back at the end of the week and say, I had like two days off. No, nah, they give you a 34. You come back in on a Friday. You come back in on a Saturday. They want you back out on a Sunday. That's what these companies is about. They smile in your face and talking about, well, you, you making money. You making buku money. We giving you $1,500, $1,600 a week. What, what, what good is that if you don't go and reset? You need to reset. You can't. It's, it's already bad enough that you're in the truck 24 hours a day until, in my situation, until I get home on Friday. Then I'm off Saturday and Sunday, and then I come back on Monday. A relationship is hard for a truck driver, and I'm going to explain why. Because you only going to see that person a couple of a couple of days out of the week. It's hard for the the the, the young lady or young man, if a lady is a truck driver, to connect. Because that person, in order to get to know that person better, you you got to spend some time. And do you honestly feel that a weekend is enough time to like really connect with a person? Family is the first thing that's going to get hit being the truck driver. And that's for a man or a woman. It's going to be the family. Your kids, especially if they're young, they're going to feel it. They're going to feel it. You're not going to be there for their birthdays. You're not going to be there for their first walks. Now that we got technology, you'll be able to video chat and I, I i don't know how it was back in the day when drivers was out over the road for long periods of time and then when they get off they 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 literally rush to the telephone booths so they can just sit on the phone for hours on end talking to their wives families and stuff like that now with technology we can video and everything that's kind of good it kind of keeps a, a close knit Hey, baby, I'm missing you. Oh, I'm missing you, too. I see what you got on. You looking kind of delicious and all like that. And I can't wait until I get to you. But on the flip side of that, you probably might be doing a video chat with the young lady and dude over in the background or girl in the background. What you do? But in any case, man, I, I feel for this driver. I pray for this driver. And I want you guys to come in the comment session and just say, driver, are you good? Let me know how you guys feel. Just and and hashtag are you good and also what i want you guys to do is to pick up the phone or text and if you haven't spoken to anybody in a while and it touches your heart to reach out talk to them and just see what they up to and see if they're good too 
Okay. All right. That's going to do it for this episode right here. I really appreciate you guys listening to the end. If you like content like this, make sure you hit that like button. Until next time, everybody. If it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you wouldn't have none of y'all shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.